cleaning up a little bit. Random GoPro. <laughs> I didn't know you were the My door opened it up. Kind of cold out here, y'all. It's a lot nicer than what it has been, though. So that's definitely a plus. We're letting the molds heat up here on the on the heater, so we don't have as many air bubbles. I think I might pop on on Instagram too. Dang, five of you hopped on pretty damn quick. Dang, dude, you guys hopped on hella quick. Ryan, Robin Murphy. Robin Murphy, are you new? Jay Smith Hunter, howdy, how are you? Get some meat on your bones. Okay, sweet. <laughs> how, are, how are all of you guys doing tonight? Hopefully y'all are doing all right. So we're going to go ahead and clean this out. We're going to make some different colors here. This is just your normal black and blues. Go ahead and save the puck because you can never have too much black and blue. They always, always use them sometime. What color should we make today? Pretty good. How are you today? I am out here getting ready to have a lot of fun. I'm making baits. And hopefully you guys enjoy it too. But uh, I'm not doing too bad. Had a pretty good day. <coughs> I think we're going to need this for what we're doing today, guys. I think I'm going to go live on IG too. Let's see here. I'll go live on Instagram as well. Let's see here. I don't even know. Like I always struggle with this. How do you go live? Here we go. Live. Checking in a connection. <laughs> Let's see here. Now live on the old Instagram. Well, this thing is pretty crappy, actually. I have to. I, was, I wish I could prop this up a little bit so you guys can see, because I have you guys charging, so I don't have to worry about anything. Maybe I can. Nope, you guys still can't see nothing, huh? That sucks. I'll just prop you guys up. I'll leave, if, it, if I start dying, I'll I'll bring the charger out. Here we go. All right, let's get all this crap out of the way here. All right, guys. So we got our short truth here for our tails. And uh, what color should we pour with our tails? Sup, Pooh? Dane, hop on over to YouTube instead of this, dude. Wow, wait, I got a lot of freaking purplish color going on here. Fix that here in a second. So here's our here's gonna be our yellow for our chartreuse. I just got the instant notification. Hey, thanks, dude. I was like, I need I need the more views on, on YouTube than I do Instagram. You know, Instagram is just for fun. But if anybody wants to hop over from Instagram to YouTube, that'd be even better. That way you guys can really help me out. So what color? Orange? I have red and white, so that might work. Or red and yellow. I think red and yellow makes orange, right? Blue? Blue is chartreuse? I don't know. Yeller. Well, I've got chartreuse right here, so that'll be the tails. Going to make some tails chartreuse. Red, huh? Well, I made red just the other day, or it's like a magenta. My red is crap. I need to get a new red. I don't know why it turned out magenta, but it sure as hell did. Is that a mullet? No, not yet. I'm working on it. Me and my son are growing one out, so. <sighs> but Dan says blue. Clear and chartreuse. That's not a bad idea. Clear always turns out pretty cool. Blue and yellow. That's what Dane said blue as well, so I might have to do some blue. Any other, any other, uh, I missed a huge one yesterday. Well, damn, that sucks. So we got clear and we got blue are like the two big choices. Same with me and my dad. Hey, yo, that's cool. So. Okay, I'll give you guys to what time is it? What time is it? Green pumpkin. Hey, I have, I have a crap lot of those too. Uh, 753. I'll give you guys till 755. Comment which one you want the most. And we'll get it going. 
maybe pearl. I don't have pearls. I need to get some pearl essence. I have, I have white. I have you know, chartreuse, black, red, blue, uh, greens, like a watermelon green. And uh, yeah. All right, switch to YouTube. Hey, oh, Carrie, how's it going, dude? Blue, black. Let's go for the orange. Orange could be pretty cool. Carrie says blue, though, so blue's looking like it's going to win. And it's 7.54, so you guys only have a few little bit left to, to get going here. Yo, Troy's here, too. Troy? Oh. <laughs> hey, guys on YouTube, go ahead. Hit that like button for me. You guys are killing it right now. And I need to go get my ladle because I got a ladle just the other day for this exact purpose. Blue it is. All right, guys. Uh, so keep each other entertained for like half a second. I've got to go grab my ladle, and I'm going to get pouring it some blues. All right, we're back. Got this little kitchen set the other day because if you guys don't know anything about Plastisol, it's messy as heck. So I got myself a ladle, so hopefully I can work that pretty good. Came with a bunch of other crap too. Actually, I didn't get the ladle. My wife got me a ladle. But All right, guys, I'm going to go fill this up with some Plastisol, and we're going to start making some baits in the blue color. That artist formerly known as T-Roy. <laughs> yeah, guys, but I'm just mixing up this plastic salt because it was awful dead. You have to really mix it good to get all that plastic off the bottom. So, this label is not very big, but it keeps it clean, so that's nice. Let's see here. The one and a half cups. All right, we've got two cups of plastic here, guys. We're ready to rock and roll. Go ahead, heat her up. For two minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this crap up because this is what it is, is crap. Oh, you need a mixer for your drill paint mixer? Yeah, I do. It's probably probably efficient. I need to find a more efficient way to scoop it out, too. Wait a second. Are these baits good? They might be good. I don't know. Might be throwing away good baits. I don't even know. They're not good. Never mind. Like Man, I want to fish some more people. Yeah, me as well, dude. You know, I can only fish so much with old recovery bass in it. He sucks, so it's you know I try to fish with people that I know that are you know my tier. Love you, Dane. <laughs> Get a pump. What's up, guys? Michael Campbell, how are you? Cecil Hedgepath. Hey peeps, how's it going, homies? Thanks for stopping in. We're getting some blue heated up. All right, guys. So we I didn't ask this question yet. Blue, what color flake? I have blue, silver, black, purple, uh, red. I think blue, red flake, and chartreuse tail should be pretty sweet. But again, this is your guys' deal. So trying to stay warm, watching bitchin' rides, huh? That's pretty cool. Caught a four and a half or a five the other day in the Oklahoma when the weather was like 30. Well, good for you. I haven't caught nothing in weather that cold today, this year. Uh, black, huh? Black. John Morris. Hey, hey, John Morris. How's it going, dude? 
True, Carrie, they just are, ain't very long. Yep. Blue and red flake. Red flake. So we have two blacks, two reds. Someone needs to break it. Red flake. Okay. There's three reds. Black and blue. They already have, well, black and blue. See, I've got black and blue, you know, black colorant, blue flake. I'm making blue colorant, and I'm going to throw red flake in there or black flake. But lots of people are saying red flake right now. Ronald, how's it going, man? Thanks for stopping in. Hopefully you're having an awesome day, Ronald. I don't have gold flake yet. I don't have gold. Yeah, but we're going to get it going here. Should be pretty sweet. Yeah, I don't have gold, Carrie. Guys, quit blowing up the chat with gold. I don't got gold. I'm making chili. Well, what the hell, John? Why don't you come over here and hang out with me? Jason Weir, how are you, dude? God, get it. I will get it. That's a pretty cool color. Ronald, good evening to everyone from Duluth, Georgia. Dang, I'm famous in Duluth, too? <coughs> Sheesh. I should have got a daggum knife. I should. That's what I needed to go get. So you guys keep yourself entertained for about 30 more seconds while I go get... I have silver. Um, so, so you guys keep yourself entertained for 30 seconds while I go grab a knife. Thank you. Good to go. We're ready. We ready. They got you got 30, what? 30, 60, 90 day higher on there. There you go. No, bro. I've been hired on at work. There you go. Good job. One one thousand. Two one thousand. Two two thousand. Two one thousand. I don't even know how to count that anymore. One one thousand. Two one thousand. Maybe that's what it is. But y'all, it's kind of cold out, but I got the heater heating up the molds. It feels like they're getting warm, so that's nice. Nice, Cecil. Hell yeah, Cecil. So do we ever decide, I think it's Red Flake that won the, that won the old shot there, so maybe that's what we'll do. Blue and Red Flake, I'm going to grab that real quick. Okay, guys, so next question for you guys, for you guys. Okay, so do we go dark blue or do we go, like, a crystal blue? I've got silver. I grab. I actually grabbed silver, too, because I think red and silver will look mighty fine. You guys can't really tell in here, but there's silver and there's red, silver and red. Okay. Crystal blue, huh? Spring is upon us, Tennessee. I'm having fishing with draws. Spring is coming. We just got done with a polar vortex. Light blue. I'd love to see some uh, from you camping. Yeah, we're coming. We're coming. Dark. John, you were just ever. Somebody says black, you say white. Good to go fishing up on the freaking Instagram. Good to go. Hop over to the YouTube channel. I'm trying to get those watch hours up, if you know what I mean, dude. Hmm. What's crystal blue compared to dark? I don't even know if I really have any. I have a dark, like, puck that I made for somebody. So here, let's see if I can. I don't even, I don't think I have any actual crystal blue. Here you guys go. Here you guys go. Like, here's it a lot more condensed, you know, just blue. But here, here's what it's going to look like with uh, actual, when it gets shot, I think. So it's a lot more see-through. 
Did you guys even see that? Say Smith Hunter, back in. I'm going to be making lures with you. There you go. Go ahead, hop over to Do It, dude. I just signed a contract with Do It too, so I've got I've, I've got a massive, massive unboxing coming like here in a week or two from Do It themselves sent to me, and it's going to be insane. So I am now sponsored with Do It Molds, so we're going to be making some freaking awesome bait making content coming up here in the spring and coming up pretty quick. So you guys will, you guys should love it. Tail. What? Yeah, I like that. With a bright end. Yeah, the tail is going to be that color. So, Congratulations, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Thanks, Michael. So, yeah, Do It Molds is now an official sponsor. I'm excited, dude. I think I started posting on Instagram all my do it stuff and they ended up following me and DMs were exchanged and here we are. They've got a bit like I'm saying they got a big big box coming to me and I'm excited. Oh god. All right, that's warm anyway, so I'll stack that like that and call it a day. Here we go. Now we're getting somewhere with this. See, you guys, here, when you guys are making baits, if you guys see it start to clear up, but it's still really jelly, like it's not really watery, you guys need to leave it in there for about another. And this is like what? This is only a 700-watt microwave. So here I'm going to leave it in for another two minutes. But you want it to be crystal clear. You want to be able to take your knife and just let it run off the end like water. It's so nice. But yeah, we got eight people on the old YouTube watching with two likes. Come on, guys. You guys are better than that. I know you guys are better than that. And we've got one person now on the Instagram. I think most of the Instagram guys have gone over to YouTube. Because I was at like a steady five, and I was only at four on, on Instagram for a while. So I think a lot of them hopped over here, hopefully. Oh, seven. Damn, you guys just fucking shot that number up. Hell yeah. Thank you. Ninja. Look at just like the AO guys, that's what I'm talking about. Nine viewers, but better watch out. Carrie's right, freaking slice and dice your ass. <laughs> but 50 seconds, and I should be able to pull it out and start adding color and color rent. So I think I'm going to start off with uh, four drops of blue, and then we're going to, and then one scoop each of the red and silver. And we're going to see where that lands us. I feel threatened. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't realize I hadn't, hadn't liked it. Well, Carrie, come on. What are you doing, dog? Alex, you know you could whoop my ass. I don't know what you're saying you're threatened for. Yo, what up, what up? What camera am I using right now? I'm just using my regular MacBook uh, video camera, you know, like the little, whatever you call it, the, the built-in camera on my MacBook. It's not very great. I know the quality is not all that amazing. So, and for Instagram, I'm just using my S20 Ultra. It's does just fine. I think the picture looks better on Instagram than it does YouTube, but I don't know because I can't see my Instagram. So, how does the how does the uh, camera quality look? On all two of you guys see. Now we're getting somewhere. It's still it's still a little jelly, but it's getting clear. So, with that being said, here let's go ahead. No, heck no, I'm not going to do that. I don't, want to, I don't want to ruin it. I know you can do it, but I don't I'm just picky. I'm picky about my stuff. Because you guys, when you guys, when I, when I launch my site here, I think that you guys deserve the best, and I'm going to make the best. So I'm old, and I'm not kicking ass anymore. <laughs> well, Alex, I tried. I tried to make you look like a badass. Got you, bro. Yeah, bro. There we go. Eight. Heck yeah. We got 11 people on the line now. Man, we're just kicking it. We're just Ivan. You should get your ass over here, dude. Come make some baits. Tell the wife, hey, I got something to do. I got somewhere to be, baby. And I'm gonna go hang out with my boy Joel. And I'm excited because tomorrow at noon, I'm going over to film a video with Ivan, which is Casual Bass Guy, and John Morse tomorrow. We're doing another podcast on John Morse's channel. So I'm excited about that. 
T Roy joined on his own device. We're getting you the views and the likes. T Roy, what up, baby boy? Uh, I'll be ready for some baits here soon. Soon as the damn ice melts. You're telling me, dude, I'm ready. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's right. Hell yeah. Carrie, tell Max and Pax to hop on. <laughs> but we are got 44 seconds, and this thing should be ready to rock and roll, baby. I'll be ready for some baits here. Oh, yeah, I already read that. Yes. <laughs> Casual Bass Guy says, wife is with her friends. I got little man and little boss. Well, Frank, dude, you're supposed to, tell, you're supposed to be like, listen here, woman. I got the pants on, and I need to go over there. It's a little too cold, and the wife and kid are in bed. I was like, I'll bring them too. Hang out. Dude, I can't wait till I'm like 50, and then I can just actually like actually smoke a pipe. And then I can just be like, you know, old school, and like, you know, the... Well, like with the overalls and stuff and just sit there in my rocking chair. That's what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to getting old. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. That's a lot more watery. Okay, so four drops of blue. I hate getting colorant on my hands, so I'm going to throw on my glove. Okay, so here we go. I'll go ahead and count them for you guys, and it looks pretty cool when it goes in, too. So you guys ready? Let's see here. One, two. I'll turn a little bit. There you guys go so you can see it. Three and four. That's four drops of blue right there, guys. Could you guys see them going down? Look at that. You guys can kind of see them. Kind of cool. And then we'll go ahead and dump our colorant in. One scoop of red, one scoop of silver. Should be pretty dope. Hey, doing any whittling? Not yet. When I get older, I would love to. One scoop of red. Got the silver. I'm already old. Tell kids to get off my line all the time. I'm only 35. Man, you're about Dane's age. Or Dane's about your age, one of the two. One scoop of silver. How do you hope? Beautiful. All right, boys. Let's mix her up and see what we got. Just do it now and grow the mullet back out. Dude, it's coming. I'm working on it. The boys get one too, so I'll be 36 in April. I'm 40. Damn, Dan, you're 50 years old. Here we go, guys. Oh, this looks saucy. I'm not gonna lie. Oh baby. Oh baby, this is gonna look really good, guys. Let me go ahead and pull the knife out. It's like almost it's like it has a blue tint, but it's super clear on the on the fork here. You guys can see a hair, like a hint of blue. It's like so ice blue. It's sick. Good, good, good color option, guys. You guys did good. So here you guys go. This is what it looks like. You guys can't even see blue hardly, but it's blue in real and like in person, it's blue. You got you guys might be able to see a little bit of blue. Yeah. YouTube can't really see much blue, but on the uh, on Instagram you can see a little hair of blue. So, anyways, you guys will be able to see it better when I actually shoot it. So let's go ahead. Take our temperatures here. Woo, 374. That's a good temperature to be at. You want it anywhere between 350 and 380 when you guys shoot it. So let's go ahead, throw our molds together here. And, uh, oh, frick, I did all that and I totally forgot we're doing chartreuse tails. What am I thinking? Okay, well, this is going to sit here and get a little cooler, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and throw this bad boy in there for about three minutes or four minutes. I'll throw, I'll throw four because it's going to melt all the way down. So after the neck deserves – oh, after three neck surgeries and almost dying last year, I deserve to be old. Heck, nobody's saying that you don't deserve to be old. Okay, buddy? Everybody's joining on Instagram. Hey, guys, hop on over to the YouTube channel. Link in the bio. I need some watch time over there. So you guys come support. Come on now. Let's make some baits over here. Let's go. Let's grow. Noise. Carrie is actually works at a hospital, and she can tell you a broken neck is not a good thing. Max is on my account as well. Maxie, come on. 
I'm trying. I'm getting the I'm getting the yellow that your mother specifically requested me for. So I mean, but my mold should be good to go. I don't even know if I'm gonna pour. I don't think I'm gonna shoot the Ripper guys. So this is the Ripper by Do It Molds also. So you guys, if you guys are looking for like a three, what is a three and a half? I think or three and three quarter. A three and a half inch Kitex swim bait, pretty much. That's what this is. But I don't think I'm going to make any swim baits in the blue color. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that set that to the side. We're going to shoot. What is this? I think this is my beaver. Yep, that's my beaver. We're going to shoot this guy. Of course, you have to shoot the, the, the new cutter tail worms. Those are brand new. This guy is still cold, so I'll leave him out in front here for a second. Not cold, cold, but he's not as warm as the others. I was actually nicing your color not the broken neck oh well it is what it is <laughs> listen man smo no i don't know howdy hello i need some rippers bro white chartreuse i am pouring whites those whites whites i'm gonna do like a like a cloud white with blue fleck and i might have chartreuse tails on them i don't know i'll have to see how i feel because those chartreuse tails are a little hard to uh on the on the rippers anyways because I'll show you. So, right, the, when the plastic gets shot into this cavity here, as you guys can see, right, it fills up, but then there's a large indention on this side and a large indention on this side. So you have to get them perfectly lined up and then close the mold back up or else that color will fly, like go through it. And it's it's a little more complicated than just, oh, ping, ping, bomb, you know what I'm saying? But I plan on doing some white with blue flake, you know, and I also plan on doing some like watermelon colors because watermelons still catch fish. But other than that, like there's not a whole other lot of swim bait colors I want to do. But in that, you know, if I can get a nice freaking hand poured mold, you know, like a CNC hand poured mold, yeah, I'll be getting that. I'll be doing a lot more of that. Follow me. Make me some white clear worms, blue flake. Some white and clear? How do you make white and clear? Because white's a color. Clear worms, huh? So wait, like the cutter worms or Cinco's? By the way, guys, this is my new favorite mold, so. Watermelon kills it. Yeah, I, I've actually made a lot of watermelon. watermelon. Here's, the, uh, here's a little chunk of it that I made last time. You know, it has a lot of the flake on the bottom because when the, like, the flake weighs more than the, uh, than the plastic itself. So a little harder. Yeah. So, anyways, that's a lot of red, but you guys get the you guys get the gist of the, the actual colors there. So, watermelon sugar, hi. Watermelon sugar, hi. Okay, so he wants clear with like okay, so like two drops of white or something, and then some. You said blue. Okay, so white and blue. Well, we can do that together. Are you making soft plastics? I am making soft plastics. There we go. See, this guy is not quite ready, but we're going to go ahead, give him the juice, give him the dangle, and we're going to uh, stir him up and then throw him back in the oven or in the microwave. So get some of that stuff chopped up. So we are shooting for Instagram, uh, since you guys are asking. We've got... Uh, this blue color, it's like it's going to be an ice blue with a silver and red flake. And then I've got chartreuse coming that's in the uh, microwave right now for the uh, tails that we're doing. Jay, man, take care. Take care. Got to help up the wife. Okay, sounds good. Don't get in trouble. Man, Lungaby, Drake, Fagin, how's it going? Fagin, Fagin, I don't know how you say your name. Uh, Joel, there are three of us sitting on the same couch watching you. Hey, we <laughs> got a shout out to the fam. You know what it do? Oh, here I got one for you. We gotta, we gotta do this for a throwback for for old casual bass guy. Let's go get it, baby boy. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. Let's see here. 
Flatlands re resell joint, huh? How's it going, Flatlands resell? Gabe Bass Fishing 19. How's it going? Man, 11 of you, eight likes. Someone's someone on here that's watching hasn't liked the video, hasn't liked the live stream yet. You guys need to like the live stream. Get it out to more people. Put it on people's for you feeds. Flatland resell. Yep, making some making some molds, honey. Do you like the single shot molds on eBay? Looks like replicas of other baits. Dude, there is one that I will buy from Amazon that's coming up. It's like a it looks it like it looks like a, a salamander kind of deal. Like I'll show you. It's pretty freaking sweet. And it's only like 20 bucks. So I really want to do that. Like, you know, like the uh, the black and yellow like mud puppies or water dogs, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, it's one of those molds, and it looks absolutely insane. Cool. Chartreuse done. Let's check temperature just to be safe, just to be careful. Okay, let's mix it up here. Make sure everything is good to go. So 360. Again, 350 to 380 is what you want that. So let's go ahead and shoot some stuff here. I might throw that back in there for about a minute or so, the blue, while we shoot this tail. Because you got to shoot everything in chartreuse before you guys shoot the actual color. If you guys are making dual color or, you know, like, like the tails of colors, you know what I'm saying. Different colors on the, like, you guys will see. I'll just show you. It's, I'm a little retarded and slow, and I'm caught on my jacket. Let's see here. Okay, so we've got our Yamamoto Cinco's. So we can go ahead and use this just because we can. Dude, I'm so excited for my new sh my shipment coming in. It's literally insane. What I've got coming on coming in is insane. You guys are like, I'll be next level. Gonna have I'm gonna be so awesome. I'm gonna need like a second microwave. Hey, joyful memory, Michaela, how are you? You like rage crawl structure bugs and bandito? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't want like. I need to buy more, uh, more of like the stuff I already have because you know if I'm gonna start selling these things, it takes a little bit, dude. You know, it takes a little bit of time. Golly, this injector's cold. I should have heated that up too. That is insane. Okay, well we're gonna send her. Hopefully everything works out. It feels like it did. It feels like it worked out. Here I am. Fixed it. I was like, joyful memories. I was like, man, that thing kind of sounds familiar. Oh, it's Michaela. There we go. Shoot these tails here. I might need to make some more short truces, what I might need to do. Got to keep an eye on these Yamamoto Senkos, though, because these Yamamoto Senkos, freaking, yeah, they suck down some freaking juice. What kind of injector am I using? Uh, I got this from my local tackle shop, and uh, I think it's a do-it, so it's a do-it injector. If I had to pick one, had to pick one, what were the options again? Uh, Rage Cross, Structure Bug, Bandito. I already have like the beaver of mine looks pretty much like a bandito anyway, so I'd have to say like a rage bug, rage crawl, rage bug, whatever you said. Yeah, rage crawl. How's it been, buddy? How's it going, Heist Garage? Zeke says, "What up, man?" Tell Zeke to come over here and hang out. Never wants to party anymore, dude. Yeah, I need to need to add some need to go need to throw in some more plastic because I'm about freaking out. This short truce. Look at that. You saw what we started with. It was like up here. And now just all those molds right there. Not even all of them. Two of the four or three of the four took all that. It's insane. So I'm going to get some more colorant real quick or some more plastic in there and get it heated up. Oh, 
All right, guys, so we got our one cup. Go ahead, throw the, we're going to go ahead and throw the, the blue back in here for a little bit. See, this color gets everywhere, though. Just accidentally touch it in the wrong way or look at it in the wrong way, and it just freaking destroys your hands. It does not come off. Sup? Reuse old plastics and melt them together. Boy, you have not been watching my YouTube channel then. <laughs> That's all I do. That's a lot of stuff I do. Bandits bugged. Okay, recovery. I'm getting ready to kick you off the streams, dude, because that's all you ever talk about, Googan. There's more stuff to life than Googan, my guy. Joel, stop cooking meth. Dang, man. Dude, listen to him. Carrie, you going to let your son talk to me that way? All right, here. Throw the blue back in there for another minute and a half or two. Get it nice and heated up. By that time, we can get all this stuff trimmed up here. So this is the cool thing about the cutter worm, though. If you guys haven't seen Guggen saw it, yep, Guggen sucks. One bite, they break. I agree. And my uh, thing just glitched for some damn reason. No break. I agree with everybody on Instagram. Everybody on Instagram is saying Guggen overrated. <coughs> CBG asked a question. Dude, let that guy from Do It know that you can't fix your inject. I already fixed my injector. It was I went and bought the, uh, the O-ring pack that you told me to from Zyners, and it works just fine now. I must have got the size too small of an O-ring from uh, AutoZone when I went and got them. Beautiful. So tails are done for the cutters. Go ahead and line them on up. Make sure they're freaking perfect or else it ain't going to work. It kind of sucks about this stuff. It's so time consuming, guys. Guggen is way overrated. Thank you. I was like, their hard baits are all right. I don't mind their hard baits. But when it comes to soft plastics, they can suck one. Because I'm not saying, you know, anything bad about them. It's just I don't like their soft plastics. Because I can catch 5 to 10 on one of mine. And like they, all the guys on Instagram are saying, yeah, no, no problem, Sharp Fishing. Thanks for stopping in on the Instagram one. I have, I'm actually live on YouTube if you want to support on the, the watch time there. Um, but, yeah. Dan, I think you're the only Guggen boy here. Guggen way overrated and overpriced. AutoZone, well, you left the part out. <laughs> no, you didn't give me a dad. I was like, I knew it had to be an O-ring issue. Hold up here. Come on now, bitty. Dude, these tails took so long compared to what they did last time. Golly. I already, the freaking two minutes is up. I'm not even done with four freaking tails. Good gosh. Okay, I'm done. That's good enough. So here we guys go so you guys can see what they look like inside the mold before I throw them back together. Cool. Done. Done deal. Go ahead. Clamps. These other ones go by a lot faster, though. A lot more easy. Dude, the rattling chunk is legit. I hate to admit it, but putting a rattle in their chunk, yeah, I was like, I could, I need to do rattles because it's just, but rattles, I don't know where to buy them, like in bulk, like where they get their stuff, because that's a good, it is a good idea, I'm not going to lie. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not going to add you. Okay. Cinco's. So here we're just going to lay them back down, start chopping tails off. Start putting them back in the mold. Call it a day.
Boom. Those are done. Call her a day. Close the mold back up. Hopefully they turn out. That's the thing. Is like you don't. You never know. I'm a big fan. Please, no, thank you. Oh, bro, tell me you've seen the Whopper Plopper 60 money this year. I will be throwing a Whopper Plopper 60. I think I have one in my my tackle bag right now. So here we go. Legs, no, just the pinchers are gonna be chartreuse. Cool. Ready to rock and roll. Ready to shoot the colors now. Sorry, guys, it's been a while. Like, this thing just takes forever when we're doing two colors. I hope y'all understand. Maddox, your garage is going to blow up. Joel, stop cooking next to the next to it beeps like it's going to blow. Yeah, that's the microwave, dude. It's not the 90 or the 75. It's even smaller. It just came out. Okay, I guess I don't have it. Let's check the old the old temperature here before we shoot. That's always important. 320. One minute. Clearly, you need to take him fishing. Clearly, I do. Love how y'all say don't like them and proceed to point out everything you do like about them. What? We said we like one of their baits. We're not hating on them, Dan. We're just saying their soft plastics are garbage. Don't tell Lokers on me. <laughs> yeah. We know you go over his. We know we know you go over to his house for every Saturday night for a little something special. Yeah. I'm a tell flare, dude. You couldn't get close to flare if you tried. They'll take one look at you and like in security and be like, "Yeah, no, you're not coming in here, dude." <laughs> All right, boys. Let's see what we get. Neighbor Josh is home. I can hear his truck. <laughs> Do you guys hear his truck? Hold pressure for about 10 seconds. One, two, three. Or panic, have his screamy ass whip boy you way. Yeah, then go, go home. What are you doing? I am making soft plastics. Here, I can move you guys a little better so you guys can see what, I'm, what I've got going on here. Here we go. I can angle you guys down too so you guys can see what I'm doing too a little better. There we go. Okay, done. Done. Let's go ahead and suck up some more plastic. You're not supposed to do that, but don't do what I do. Do as I say, not as I do. Right, Carrie? One, two, three, four, yeah, I think, I think these might turn out, they might not, I really don't know. Is that baby blue? It's actually like, here you guys can see it a little better now. It's like an ice blue, here you guys can see it a little better too now. Ice blue. Yep, I'm going. Max, don't leave. Troy already left. I already know Troy left. Troy don't love me. Carrie's the only real fam. Bet they won't turn out. I don't think they will either, right? Only one way to find out, though. Shoot him and let him cool. Oh, love that blue. Yeah, dude, this blue turns out freaking super dope. Dane, I'm watching you closely, man. You straight up went and bought a yak fish finder and signing you to fish tournaments. I got my eye on you. Dane? 
Have you installed that fish finder yet? He said he was going to today. Dude, you know I'm your number one. Yeah, you go number one, girl. Besides Rye, I guess you guess I guess that makes you number two, but T Roy is still watching. Well, that is surprising. That blue is nice. Thank you. Hopefully these turn out. I don't think they will, though. I think we're going to have air bubbles. Especially in the uh, in the Senkos, I think we're going to have air bubbles. But I know I can take these apart, so let's go ahead and take these apart. These guys cool down pretty damn quick. I'm going to go ahead and move this down to my feet, too, because my feet are getting cold. So let's go ahead and take this off. Indeed, number two. Let's see here. You guys ready? They turned out fire. Ah, you guys, you guys can see them. Hold up here. I've got, to, I've got to trim them up, make them look nice before I show you guys. One, two. You guys can't see them good. I was like, crap. But I'm trying to show Instagram because Instagram's lower than you guys. Three and four. There we go. Good to go. Uh, one of them did not turn out, but three did. So we'll go ahead. I don't know. Maybe I can use this. I don't know. No, I'm not going to. It's got a big air pocket right there. So let's go ahead and scrap that one over there for now. Here we go. Here we go, guys. The red, or the yeah, the red and silver with the chartreuse tails. Ice blue. Now here comes the stuff that I don't think came out. <laughs> I haven't ordered any baits yet. Holding out to get some from you here in a few weeks. Don't forget about me. Okay. Yeah, no problem, dude. It's not like I don't know where you work. <laughs> Just tell me what building you're in. All right, guys, here comes the one that I don't know if it turned out. Oh, wow. No air pockets that I'm seeing. Oh, there was one. I found one air pocket. So one did not turn out. This top one didn't. But these turned out freaking beautiful. Look at those. Yes, one has a little shorter tail there, and that one has an air bubble too. So that's nice. So two of them came out. <laughs> but still. Those two look freaking awesome, don't they? You guys go for the IG? Yeah. These are dope, too. So here's what we do with these guys. We take them. We rip the tails back off of the chartreuse. Throw them back in the chartreuse bucket. Throw those back in the blue bucket, and we're ready to keep rocking. Joel, if you get that large size injector, you will never use it, have, never have another air pocket. The thing is, it's the injector is still cold, and that's like that's why I get the air pockets. I don't like, yeah, I'm just making excuses, but it is what it is. But I've got a dual injector coming, so that means this stuff will turn out in freaking sane. I just pinched the hell out of my finger. That hurt. But here we go, guys. This guy, this guy never fails. Look at him. Oh, always so freaking sexy. Instagram for you. Do you like? Do you like the way I move my body? I believe CBG is correct. Well, I have a dual injector, so that means I have two injectors bigger than, I think they're bigger than this one too, so. And if I, I probably need to lube this up. If I had any freaking oil in here. I don't think I do. I need to go get some oil and oil would really help this thing too. I might go do that too. So we're gonna go ahead. Do you guys want to see more dual colors? You guys just want me to shoot the hell out of this uh this blue. I think I'm just gonna shoot the hell out of the blue. Because that friggin' yellow just takes so damn long. Shoot it one color, then take it out, put in another one. Might as well just shoot some blues and see what happens. That's really cool. Thanks, Sean Troyer. 
I'm gonna have to put it in longer than that. Okay, let's see here. Uh, yeah, that duel is your answer. Yeah, shoot the hell out of the blue. I like that. That's a good idea. <laughs> Dude, sorry, Ryan, what'd you say? Number two needs a visit before K is a teenager who doesn't like cuddles and will force him. <laughs> it's beautiful. Riley, yeah, for sure. Sorry, I'm reading all these now. Da -da 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 -da. Send it. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're just going to shoot a lot of blues. I might even shoot some rippers, too, in the blue color, just to, just to do it. Tate V41 joined. Thanks. What is that thing that World's Worst Fishing does to get out air bubbles? The thing is, it's not the air bubbles in the... It's not the micro bubbles is what he has, though. He uses the vacuum chamber, and that's exactly what you're talking about. But my deal is I think my injector is sucking up air, and when I'm pushing it down, it is the air is still entrapped inside of that plastisol. So I'm going to go get some oil, and I'm going to oil my O-ring, and it should fix my problem. Here you guys go. Oil onto the O ring. It doesn't take a whole heck of a lot either. So just get like a couple drops on there. Boop. Good to go. And this is just vegetable oil too for if you guys ever wanted to make baits yourself. See, it's a lot, a lot harder, smoother pull now. And if you guys really wanted to be efficient, I don't know where the heck. I put my screwdriver at, but and there's a lot of leftover plastic in there too. They can clean out and increase your pull. But I don't know where my screwdrivers are. So that's always fun. But the flat, can I use a flat? Nope. As you guys can see, like there's some black that just came out of the bottom. Because you're not tipping the injector after sucking up the plastic. It's happen when it's upside down in the ear. Bubbles rise, slowly push them out. Pish posh. Mr. Pancakes! Always time for lubricant, bro. Yeah, it is. So we've got a lubricant in here. My ass is trying to find a Phillips head that I know I got in here somewhere. Is that the pretty find? A whole bunch of Torx head stuff in there. I think my box is in the house with all my Phillips heads. It is what it is. All right. You guys can hear how bad that sounds. Uh, I mean, you're doing just fine. It's 95% of your baits turn out perfect, but I'm just giving you suggestions. I understand. CBG. There we go. Now we're good. Good to go. All right. Get that back in there. Let's get this guy ready. These tails. No. Gosh dang it. <sighs> Let's get this guy going. Watch these things will turn out good. I think. Let's mix it up just to be sure. Put it in there for three minutes and there's still globs. Maybe I guess she needs longer than three minutes. But life ain't worth living without a dirty mind. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> All right, here, I'm gonna put this back in for a little bit longer because it didn't get as hot as what I thought it would in three minutes. Are you kidding me? Freaking stupid plastics. I 
So, talk to me, y'all. Isaiah Para, how are you? Uh, Rise high, hi. It's not Bearded Beavers. Me and Ivan already decided on a name. Sorry, Dane. Me and Ivan already had the name picked out and ready to rock. You've been replaced. What is it? Well, there's only nine of you guys watching instead of all 1,600 of y'all, 10 now. You're watching, but the name of the company is going to be, I think, still need to, you know, but for now, I think it's going to be Fats Tackle. Yep, P-H-A-T-S, Tackle, Fats Tackle. Yeah, see, nobody thought it was cool. <laughs> Mr. Weeby, Weebs, hop on over to YouTube, dude. I need you over on YouTube, not Instagram. Fatstical. Get out of here. Fats tackle. P H A T S space T A C K L E. Yeah, that's what I was like. You know, I was like, you know, it incorporates the name. I didn't really want it to incorporate 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 the name, but it sounds good. And it works for what I'll be doing because I'm not just going to stick to soft plastics. Do fats bass tackle? Well, see, I don't plan on just making bass uh, tackle too, you know, because I've got crappie jigs and stuff coming too. So I'm just trying to keep it as broad as possible while incorporating, you know, all that. And that's not the shirt I bought you. It isn't the shirt I bought you. What? What shirt you bought me? I'm confused. <laughs> The shirt you bought me just says fat basses. Yeah. I was like, I don't have it's too cold out here for that. Top Water Kid sent a request to be in my live video, huh? Why do you deserve to be in my live video on Instagram, Top Water Kid? Answer me that. Let me know if you need something updated. I don't really know yet. I'm trying to find, I'm trying to get like a, thank you, I, mean, I can't see, I, I can't see myself and it's really bothering me. There we go. I, I, I need to, uh, frick, what was I saying? Uh, oh, I need to come up with an actual logo instead of just, you know, a regular largemouth bass. Like I want, you know, since it's fats tackle, fat basses, I want like, if somebody knows, on here knows how to draw, I want on, please. Mr. Weeby wants to hear it. Okay, I'll, I'll let Weeby join. But if somebody on Instagram or Face or YouTube or anything like that knows how to draw, let me know because I want a guy. I want like a. I want like a, a bass, obviously, and I want him to be fat as hell, sitting there like smoking a cigar with like you know a wife beater or something. You know, just just a, like a super like fat bass. Wait, hey, how's it going, Weeby? Hey, bud, what you doing? Not a whole hell of a lot. Just making some colors. Oh yeah. If I if I had known you were bored, I would have told you to come over here and hang out with me. Yeah, I just got been home for a little bit. Got my puppy with me. Oh yeah. Oh Chevy. Yeah, old Chevy. <laughs> Such a redneck name for a dog, dude. <laughs> cool, man. <laughs> He's a red healer, ain't he? Yeah, Australian Shepherd Red Healer. Yeah, that's super cool. Yeah. yeah very so, cool. what were you out doing tonight? Caught raising hail? Yeah, so what? I guess, I don't know. Riding the snowmobile? I, I rode the snowmobile yesterday. I got it stuck, got, got it unstuck, and my legs are sore as crap. <laughs> Dude, but, maybe everybody on YouTube misses you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, like every time you're in a video, it does really well. You never well, you never believe me, but well, I'm sure Casual Bass Guy will hop on here any second and be like, Waves! I tried, I tried to sign on the bill on the Facebook, or not Facebook, YouTube, 
I could see you, but I couldn't message you. Oh, well, that's weird. But, hey, at least you're on and talking to me. Later, man. Have a good one. Baits look sweet. Thanks, uh, Alex. You're awesome. And I'll just show me a DM whenever you want some baits, dude, and I'll hook you up. I would rock the shit out of that shirt. Dude, Weeby, what do you think of that idea? Just, like, have, like, some, like, on a shirt, you know, for fat bastards or whatever. Just have, like, you know, like, just a regular, like, you know, like, trailer park trash freaking, like, gut hanging out of, like, a wife beater smoking a cigar. <laughs> you know, and instead of, like, it being a human, have it be a bass and just fat basses. Well, yeah, have, like, a, you know, not with a cigar, but with a crazy hat, fat belly, white beater with fishing pole catching the big bass. Well, that's just a lot to put on a shirt, though. No, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, well, it can be, a, it won't be a lot, but it can be a little. It can you know, be a little. <laughs> it can be like a, for a pocket, then you put the whole picture on the back side of the back of the shirt. Yeah. Hey, Carrie, Pax is good at drawing, isn't he? See if Pax, See if Pax can make something like that, and I'll pay him. <laughs> but old Chevy, and uh, you rode the snowmobile? Yeah, I rode the snowmobile. And I looked at my extreme. I pulled the battery out of the extreme. And I need to get that thing done. Yeah, that thing's going to be sweet when you're done with it. I'm excited for you. Well, the extreme, let me guess a little but I want to. I think we're gonna try the V6. Maybe. Uh, yeah. if, I don't know yet. You can't straight axle swap and then V6. Come on, Weebs. Well, no, on my four drive, I'm gonna. I'm gonna probably keep it. I'm probably oh, oh, okay. It. Yeah, you're extreme. I forgot about that. Yeah, okay. I have the black four cylinder, and I have the four drive with the six cylinder. I'm probably gonna run that six cylinder for a little bit, but. We'll get the axles underneath it for a little bit. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, you like, like that, Weaves? That looks, that looks pretty good, don't it, guys? Well, I don't want to see that. You need to get it, like, right here in front. There you go. Not so not so close. Pull that out a little bit. Pull back, pull back, pull back so that everyone can see the whole. <laughs> Hell no. Made a five. He said, oh. Hey, by the way, a YouTube guy says, hell no, man, do a 5.3 swap in the extreme. He's got a 5.3 or a 6.0 going into his four-wheel drive straight axle S10 that he's doing. Well, I'm going to look for a uh, 6.0 for the uh, S10 with straight axles. I'd really like to find a 5.3 for the extreme. Well, Weaves, it sounds like you have your mind made up. 5.3s are cheap. I know 5.3s are cheap. And the 6.0 I want is the LQ9, not the LQ4. The LQ9. <laughs> Before you do anything to it, you can run almost a thousand horsepower on the bottom end of a 6.0. Yeah. He said, the guy says, hey, good luck finding a 6.0. It's not hard. I can find them all day long. Yeah. Even better if I put a 6.2 in it. Oh, wait. <laughs> Wiz, you need to come over here. <laughs> you what? What time is it? Like eight something? Nine, to, nine, nine o'clock? <sighs> I was like, you don't like, I was like, don't come over today. We'll schedule something out because it's getting late. You have to figure out what's wrong with your uh, tracker. No, I haven't messed with it. It's too cold, dude. Yeah, what them people were saying, it could be different thing. It could be the computer. It could be the computer my God. Yeah. It, it wouldn't be hard to find. Just find the one that you just have to. There you go. That looks good. I think I'm going to take a picture of that for Instagram. Oh, I can't. Frick. I've got, I've got Instagram up right now. I can't take a picture. It is what it is. Oh well, I can take pictures of the of the done, you know, of the final product. Right. Uh, yeah, for this, I wish this cold snap would be gone away. Yeah, me too.
But see, if so, Casual Bass Guy's still on here, see, all four of these turned out after I oiled, like right after I oiled the, the thing. Dude, doesn't that light make it look super dope? <laughs> Makes them look no, neon. Not shiny. Looks more glossy than shiny. Yeah. That just makes them look like they're bright. Are they heavy? Like yeah. the other one? Always yeah. heavy, dude. Yeah. I can zoom that son bitch all the way across the pond with yours. <laughs> I know you can. <laughs> so I can zoom that. <laughs> Damn it, Weaves. <laughs> so, dude, I'm so ready for uh, uh, these tournaments, man. Oh yeah, dude! I saw your name was on. I saw your name was officially on the list. Yeah. So you get, are you getting another yak or are you not? I'm gonna try. I want to get another yak. I want to get another. I want to get one like your, like, like yours or uh, one that you can stand on. Bass kicking on. outdoors is selling his. Yeah, but he probably wants a grand for it. And, uh, yeah, nine hundred bucks. It's the bon it's a bona fide RS 107, something like that. It's worth it. It's a good kayak. It's well built, but I know it's out of the price range because you got too much other crap going on. Yeah, I gotta spend another eight hundred dollars on most of the rest of the stuff for the straight straight axle SD. That's not captain motor. That's just captain yeah. parts to. Love the color. Thanks, Carrie. Man, it's like all only people comment now is Michael and Carrie, and there's seven people watching me. <laughs> am I on your deal or am I just No you I'm talking no, you're just on Instagram on my phone. But am I, am I on the Instagram? Mm-hmm. Like people can see me? Yeah, people can see you. All snappers. <laughs> He said, wait, people can see me? <laughs> yeah, they're looking at you right now. Come here, Chevy. Hold on. Chevy, you sleeping. Oh, oh, oh. I want with an old town kayak for my first kayak. That's the one Basket and Outdoors just bought, dude. It's so sweet. He bought an old town. I'm not going to tell you guys which one, but it is. Actually, I'll tell you. He bought the, dude, Weaves. This guy spent four grand on it. I wanted a Poby. No, he got he got an autopilot, the the old town autopilot with like the trolling motor in the middle that has spot lock and all that stuff, and he just presses a button and it takes him. Yeah, it's freaking that. sweet, dude. I think you will buy a, a truck for four grand. Dude, you can buy a lot of stuff for four grand. I was <laughs> like, you know, but he's like, he's like, dude, I'm super. He's like, he's like, I'm getting super into this kayak thing instead of bass, you know, instead of the bass boats. I was like, yeah, you know, he's like. That's why he's selling his Bonafide to help fund it. But he's like, he bought it today. But he's like, he's like, I need to, you know, get it, get some money back. So he's selling his Bonafide. So if any of you guys want a Bonafide RS107 or SS107, hit up Bass Kicking Outdoors because he's got one for sale. Yeah, I, I, I like my kayak. But I need a little bit more room. Yeah, maybe you could sell yours and fund a little bit and then you could have it, you know, have, sell yours for like 200 bucks. Then yeah. there were 300 bucks, something like that, and then just dump 200 more in and you can get something like mine, exactly like mine. Yeah, thought about it. I don't know yet. Well, I mean, you got a month. You got a month until the season starts. Well, I ain't fishing until it gets a little warmer than it is now. <laughs> well, I mean, it's supposed to be March something or, yeah, you got April, March, or March, April. I don't remember when it starts. Maybe April, April March or April. April, it probably do. March, it's still going to be fur cold. I don't know if it's March or April. I think it's March. I'm not sure. Waves, I was like, I, don't, I really don't know. I can't help you out there. If anybody knows when the ACKA club event is, if Bass Kicking or if uh, Casual Bass Guy knows, I'm not sure. He might. I went with the Old Town Kayak for my first one. Old Town Autopilot Spot Lock. I almost saved more money and got one. You should have got one. They're freaking insane, dude. It's going to warm up in, here in Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee. Let me tell you, boy. Memphis, <laughs> ain't warm over there. It's cold. Yeah, it's, it's cold. cold. Heading out, yeah, J-Hole, old lady bedtime. All right, Carrie, you know, you do old lady things, I guess. <laughs> uh, oh. Winky face, heart, I mean, cry face, heart eyes face. Send it make signals to me, Carrie. What the hell? 
That's Riley's aunt. <laughs> Riley's aunt. Oh. What the hell are you doing? Are you looking at the, the tournament thing? Huh? What? Are you like if you go to aircapitalkayaks.com, dot com, it tells you the schedule. Oh, I will. Message me that, I guess. Or, Lost yeah. the internet for a bit. Can I see the baits? Yeah, here you go. Uh, which one do you want to see? The white, the chartreuse, or just the blues? The blue chartreuse, or just the blue? I don't know which ones you saw or which ones you didn't. It's colder than a witch's tit in a brass bra is what the guy said about Memphis. <laughs> oh, I bet it is. I bet that's a bitch. Bert Cole. <laughs> that might be. That might be good enough to shoot. Yeah, that's good enough to shoot. Let's go ahead and shoot another round, boys. After this, I think I'm going to switch to a watermelon. Watermelon green or something. And then make some baits because... Okay, guys, so the whole plan about this kayak series, right, this kayak tournament series that I'll be participating in, I am not going to have a single name brand in my kayak except for hard baits. I'm going to have, you know, my sponsored AOT jigs and chatter baits in my kayak, and I will have jigs that I make in my kayak, and I will have my soft plastics. And everything else, that's the only thing. I'm not running any other, anybody other soft, soft plastics. Zero. What do you think of that idea, Weeds? Do what? Only running my soft plastics, nobody else's. Well, yeah, that's why what I would do and would do some and have some of yours and have some others, you know, let you buy at Walmart or whatever. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna. I'm just. I'm literally only using my. I'm only. I'm only using my stuff. I haven't sent you. I'll send you after we're done here. I'll send you what I. Because uh, you know, I signed a contract with Do It Mold, right? Uh, yeah, I've seen that on the old, the old Facebook. Yeah, so, anyways, they're sending me a bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah. So, I've got other stuff I can use, and I've got I've got a whole bunch more crap on order, and one of them you'll really like. I know you will. Oh, yeah, what's that? Uh, oh, four people, yeah, I can tell you. So, I got I got a lead pour mold, right? right? So, I got a jig mold, like, to actually make football jigs. I got, uh... A lead pot, you know, like a like a melting pot with like the down spigot deal with like a handle, so it's real clean. I uh, I got a lizard mold. I got dual injectors, so I can shoot two colors at once now. I got a fluke. I got a craw mold, and I think that's it. I think that's all I got for now. But I'm getting an actual. I think I'm going to get the DD uh, the DD gill. and I think that's what I'm going to run too. Ryan, how's it going, man? Thanks for stopping in. Tater ball. What is the best soft plastic bait for the summer? Weaves, what do you think the best soft plastic bait for the summer is? Well, I use the – most of the time I use green and white and green with the uh, watermelon with red sparkles and the green and white. Yeah, I know you use a lot of the green and white, and I plan on making some of that green and white too to give you – you know, to let you use also. But I was going to say my deal is just a. Overall deal, um, I, took, I got Do It Mold's Mad Dad. That's what I'm going to be using this summer a lot and on the back of my jigs. So it should be a lot of fun. And, dude, this Mad Dad is insane sweet, dude. You'll love it. Waves, yeah. you'll, you'll want some. Yeah. And I, I use a lot of others. I use a lot of others, but I think I Eric have... Burnside. Hello, everyone. Eric Burnside. I saw you on yesterday, I think. I what? think we need to go buy some – New ponds around Wichita, or like go out skirts of Wichita and find some new ponds. Yeah, we've been, yeah, I, I agree, I agree, because you know I've been hitting the old secret spot pretty hard because I'm just trying to catch that ten pounder and I know it's out there. Right, right. Well, I think we should. I love hit, making baits. Right. It's cool on how you were making these awesome. Yeah, I think so. Well, you want we the, that secret ponds? At I think we should hit that one in front of that one. Oh, the old trailer park. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. If we can get in there. Well, I see gates going off off two thirty five. I see gates to one. I don't know. Yeah, we might be able to hit that. We might be able to drop the yak in there. I'm taking the yak to the secret spot this year too. By the way, if you're coming. Yeah. Right, but that's gonna be a, that's that'd be a lot of freaking mutt grunting and 
whole bunch of other stuff. We yeah. have to get four wheeler out there. Four wheeler, <laughs> just drag it. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Craw dark right. green. That's what another guy said. Craw dark green. I will subscribe. Thank you, Ryan. You're awesome. We are almost to 4,700 subscribers. No. Sorry, not 47, 1,700 subscribers. I don't know where 47 came from. That'd be insane. Dude, so I was, I did some, I didn't really, really do some research, but I saw like these people I subscribed to on, on YouTube. It's after like 3,000 people you get monetized, I think. I'm not real sure. Well, it's a thousand. It's a thousand. It's a thousand people. Like a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours is when uh, you get the good stuff. Oh, you follow me on Instagram. That's awesome. That color is sick. Yeah, dude. Look That's at those. These cutter worms are like brand new. Like they've only been out like two months or something. It turns out I was like one of the first people to ever to ever get one. Like I was on Instagram and I posted pictures of them and. Like, like before anybody I've ever seen them, you know, and now they're all over the place. Hmm. So you going to open your store, sell baits? You what now? You going to sell a store? Are you going to open like a site or some sort? I might open a website, but like right now, I, I don't know if I told you this either, but I'm in the process. Again, there's seven people on here, so I think I'm safe to say, you know, I'll make an actual video on it. But I'm going to uh, buy a snack machine. I'm going to sell go. them out of a snack machine at a, at a local pond uh, out by my hometown. You know, it's going to be have an awning over it and cameras and stuff like that. So I know my investments there, but still should be pretty cool. I've never seen anybody with a snack machine for baits. I mean, that's pretty cool. Hey, Simon, thanks for stopping in, man. That's pretty, that's pretty, you know, legit kind of thing. I yeah. like that. I like the colors. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Good in the water, in the clear water. Oh, I know it well, yeah. It will pop. Hey, it will pop. Pop, I say, pop. Pop. <laughs> oh, what the hell? This one didn't shoot all the way. You know, that's kind of, I mean, oh, I guess I'm kind of not surprised, actually, because I ran it, I tried to shoot it off the old, uh, same thing I shot the Senkos on. I need to just redraw plastic and then reshoot it. But... Nice baits. Thanks, Simon. You got two people watching you, bro. I got two people on here, nine on nine on the YouTube. Woo. You didn't tell us tackle company name yet. I did tell you the I did say the tackle company name. By the way, Ivan, if you were actually watching my live stream about 20 minutes ago. Wait, so what am I name in the tackle company? I don't remember. What the great friend you are. <laughs> Remember, uh, remember the Fats Tackle, uh, Jumba, uh, Green Pumpkin, uh, Red Blake. That's a, that's kind of a crazy one. And I even gave you credit, Casual Bass Guy. Dane was on here. I know Dane heard it because I was like, I told Dane that he'd been replaced by you. You what, Weebs? I heard it. I just didn't remember. I just didn't remember. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm ready. Get this thing got get this thing built, started and built, and, and uh, I want to I want to really do some YouTube on it. I'm telling you, man, you just gotta just gotta press record. You got a phone that'll do it. Yeah, I have a camera. I just need to do it. Yeah, so. and I mean, if you got enough time, that you can edit. You know, I'll teach you how to edit it. You That's have an iPhone, problem. so you can use iMovie. Just well, wanted to stop I, in and say hi. Thanks, man. Thanks for stopping in and saying hi. Uh, also, did you sign the contract yet? Yeah, I signed the contract with Do It, uh, what, Thursday? So what's that contract do? So how does that contract work? So they gave me an X amount, of, allotted amount of dollars for free for free product. And um, okay. I, so I, you know, I spent, yeah, I spent some already. And uh, that's how all that stuff's coming. And I have to, uh, I get, what is it? I get 25% off on future purchases. And uh, I have to tag them in photos every two weeks and or, and or make a video every two weeks on the, on the product. Thank you. Yeah, my contract. Oh, no, I didn't sell it. Get out of here, casual bass guy. <laughs> But 
but well weebs what you thinking hey my mom joined Your hi mom. bob <laughs> <laughs> my mom joined. What's your mom's name? I didn't see it on here. Uh, it's on, on mine. I don't know if it's on yours. Uh, oh, gotcha. It's like, my mom uh, joined. Hi, mom. <laughs> no, yeah, my mom ain't it. Her, her name is Chris Crawford Price. That's too funny. Hey, Casual Bass Guy, if you want to talk to Weaves, he's over on Instagram. Woo! I'm bigger. Da 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 da. Dude, I'm telling you, it just cracks me up. Like, how many people love when you get on my live, oh, when people when you get on my videos, dude? It just cracks me up. I'm Ryan. Oh, hey, Ryan. I was like, I saw you join. Donna Ho Bates. Hey, Donna Ho, you ready to learn something, buddy? Now on YouTube and Instagram, dude. Killing it, dog. Hey, so ask all your buddies. It's on there on YouTube. That they ask him if it's going to be cool to watch me build my truck. All right, everybody on YouTube, all seven of you, even if you don't comment, Weeby wants to know if he should start a YouTube channel building his pickup. And then after that one, I'm probably going to build another and another. James Fishes, I follow Casual Basket on Instagram. Michael Campbell says yes, he would follow. Well, heck yeah, dude. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'll heck you up, man. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Air it up. All seven of you. We got one comment so far. Monster Mike did a video on finding a bait machine. Well, Eric, I'm sorry, but I'm going to own a bait machine. So I have to go to bed. What a chicken. It's Saturday, dude. Time to party. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Eric. Dude, I was like, I'll, I'll show you guys how much plastic I made in just these two cups. It's insane. Oh, one, look at that, Wavy, look down. It says, sure, I'd follow. Does it tell Does it tell you what people are commenting? No, it says I have a hockey. Oh, that, scroll up one. It's another guy said he would follow you. At least one. I'll be your first uh, follower on YouTube if you start one is what Michael says. Yeah. Oh, no. And Potter said that. that. Oh, I don't see that. All I see is your, the fishing New Hampshire 09. Am I on here? Well, your, your, uh, your, your comment popped up there. For sure, I would. <laughs> freaking Casual Bass Guy said, for sure, I would, Weeby. Joel can say you have the, you can help with the title, and automotive scene is massive. So Casual Bass Guy is actually offering to help you with right. the, with YouTube stuff, yeah. Heck yeah, dude. I'm telling you, Weeby, you're you're kind of you're. I'm saying like you're not you're you're not very known, but you're known <laughs> on my channel. <laughs> oh man, it'd be great if I could get a lot of people. If you get a lot, dude, Weeby, you have the personality to get a lot of people. I'll put it that way. Yeah, it'd be it'd be cool. It'd be uh, kind of. Uh, <clears throat> I like the tire what I do and just start building. That's what I really like to do. What did I the offer to help? You said titles and stuff, didn't you? Oh, maybe Casual Bass Guy didn't say he'd help you. What? For sure, I would. For sure. Oh, he's saying he would help. He said he would sub to you, and then he said Joel can help you with the titles. That's my bad. I don't know who Joel is. Who Joel? Me. You? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Are we even friends? Yeah. He said, yeah. yeah. I don't even know my fucking name. <laughs> Who's Joel? <laughs> now I just need to, like, I need to make a, a uh, intro, intro. Because it's going to be, like, me and my buddy Bond doing it. We had the name. I know you have the name because I've already subscribed to you waiting for a video. Well, We'll do that one. I want to. Uh, that's. Right. We have a name for it, but I think we're gonna change it up. Change it just to. DW Customs. Not uh. Cars and parts. CW Customs. And I think we want to. I really like to get a. He said, "Damn, some friend." <laughs> I 
I want to. I think I want to do another. Make another YouTube channel. This is Weebies Off Road Shop. Here he said, "Dude, if you guys only knew what I used to record myself to start out, what did you use? What, what did you use? We want to know. You got to tell us now." I'm gonna start it coming to YouTube. I'll need your help. Man, I should just set up a course. I should video myself and have a course for twenty bucks and teach people everything they need to know about how to start YouTube. Because I've done a piss load of research. I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not super successful yet, but I will be. You watch. Oh, that way about your new job, bud. Oh, that ain't nothing. It's just making hydraulic cylinders. Oh, yeah? Yep, it's pretty bullshit, so. Hey, do you uh, want a side job? If I, if, I, if I didn't have a kid, I would. Cut wood on, like, weekends? I'm, well, again, weekends, I'm trying to, you know, get my bait stuff going, so. I'm chasing a dream, Wade. I'm chasing a dream, buddy, or else I would. <laughs> well, the third day, you do, you do this at night. Yeah. I don't know. Because, I mean, again, you know, you work. At, you have to wake up at 4.45 in the morning, and that's not all that fun. Cut wood? I don't want to wake up at 4.45. No, no, no. 4.40. No, you're saying go in the morning to cut wood. Like I got cut you. Wood during the day? That's yeah, but right, that's the thing. Riley works on Saturday, so I couldn't even do it Saturday, so I'd only have one day to do it. Yeah, I haven't cut any wood in for like a month. Well, what the hell, Weeps? If you if you kept cutting wood, you could afford that. Uh, you could afford that autopilot or a Hobie. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Okay. That, that boat is too big. Dude, Weeps, you would rock Hobie, that boat though. You. <laughs> Hobies or Hobies, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what the guys at the freaking boat ramp were laughing about so much. Damn no to hoobies. Damn no hoobie. It's just too freaking big. There's you just can't really do anything with it. It's just way too big. Yeah. It's too much to haul. Too big of a haul. That's why they have the little carts with the wheels on them, so you can just pull them. Yeah. It, it's. Still, way too big. Are you I want to show some reports. Yeah, I'm pulling them out right now, Potter. There you go, right there, bud. There you go. That's good. Yep. I, I missed a, I missed well, a screw on one of them, but looks good. The other two didn't look so good. The other three didn't look so good. I don't know. They all look the same to me. Well, he, they had a little top on there. I didn't, a little tail up there. Now Ooh. they look. Oh, that'd be a great shirt. What would be? You know uh, that flexible neck phone holder? I'd bend the arms to make it in the same possession as a GoPro. <laughs> so, okay, we you know like those people that have like little necklaces that come up here so you can watch your phone? He said that he would do that, but then he would bend it down here so he, so he could use his phone to record instead of his GoPro. That's something. Okay. You, that's something you would do, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Three dollars. <laughs> Three dollars today, boys. Dude, if you guys want to meet the Wish King, go follow Mister Weeby on Instagram. <laughs> the Wish King. What? Oh, all your like your cameras and all that crap. Your drone, all from Wish. <laughs> uh oh, I did. I I really haven't used any of those. Well, I used them when I got them, but after I got them, I just kind of just alone. I need to get them out again. I can't really, it's hard to replace the batteries. You can't get batteries for them. That's the only downfall on that. Yeah. I'm telling you, you just need to buy, like, get a cheap Picasso from Amazon. They treat you good. They treat you really good. Their, their freaking customer support is A1, too. Yeah, those look well, real cool. Thank hey. you. And the ones from Walmart. That's a damn. <laughs> the guy said, you need to make it a shirt, Weeby. Whenever he said you need to make it and say, it's a damn do to Hoobie. <laughs> and then have the Hobie logo on it. Oh, dude, that'd be badass. That's a good, that actually damn is a good shirt idea. Damn do Hobie. Hobie. That's my redneck ass. <laughs> 
I remember one one guy from that tournament who says, I'm just going to get a sticker and put it all over the field and said, damn, no hobby on it. <laughs> I bet right. John. I bet if John Morse was on here, he'd be. He'd still. He'd want one. Boom! There we go. Yeah, looks good, dude. Yeah, yeah. But I was gonna say, uh, damn old Hooby, and uh, what's the other? One? The uh, the other guy said, uh, Weeby. Uh, not Weeby. Uh, casual bass guy says he'll sell you a GoPro Hero Four. Yeah, but uh, hopefully, like how much? We're not playing no four hundred, five hundred dollars. What? No, Hero Four is the like old, old. No. Not old, old. It's probably about what, probably five years old or something. Yeah. Yeah, because the the Hero Nine is the one that I have, and that's like the five hundred dollar one. Oh yeah, I swear. I just wanna hook, but but yeah, this track's gonna have. Ooh, that's pretty nice. I like that. <laughs> They say, well, this old truck's going to have, ooh, that's pretty nice. <laughs> Straight out, it's underneath this dead. I'm going to run, I'm going to hope it's going to run through the gates underneath this dead and a half. Bumpers. Boggers. It's going to roll down the road. It's going to, um. He said, it's good. It's got 1080p. He said, 60 bucks. For it with four batteries and a waterproof case. Mm. That's a pretty. I'm not gonna lie. That's a pretty daggone good deal, dude. Because Hero Threes are still selling for a hundred bucks on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. I'm not lying to you. If you look up GoPro Hero Three right now, they're a hundred bucks. If I would have known that, I would have got that from my dad, dude. If I thought <laughs> my dad does a YouTube, my dad does YouTube too, and uh, he he got a Hero Three and he's been re rebuilding uh, transmissions, but he's a Ford guy. So he just did a whole series on how to rebuild a C4 automatic transmission, and then he's doing a whole frame, a whole uh, like chassis swap on a Ford Ranger with a 302 V8 in it. And he's got like he's building a dragster and all sorts of stuff. I know that truck. That's a Ford fucking Ranger. <laughs> I know that truck. It ain't no stranger. That's a Ford fucking Ranger. <laughs> Literally, only for you, Weeby. No one else on this stream. Ha, 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 ha. That's what he said. That's literally what the, the thing says. Weebs, I would honestly, if I was you, I'd hop on that because then you could record your fishing too. Yeah, I could do that. I think you have, hey, a, I think you have a deal. Casual Bass Guy, go follow Mr. Weeby on Instagram so you can DM him or something. Yeah, do that. And if I get it, send it to Joel, and I'm going to pick it up at Joel's house. Or you can meet Casual Bass Guy because he's a big fan of you anyways. <laughs> yeah, CBG usually treats you pretty good. I use that kind of a lot in June Bug, huh? I need to make some June Bug. I'm back, baby girl. Hey, Dane. How's it going, baby girl? None of I don't see any of your people anymore. There's like two people. Yeah, the Instagram kind of dies down, but it is what it is. People, come on. Get on there. <laughs> Casual Bass Guy says, damn, Weeby doesn't want to meet me? I didn't say that. Weeby, <laughs> no, like, I'm fucking. <laughs> maybe after this, I'll do, after I'm done shooting all that, maybe I'll melt all that down. There you go. Yeah. He said, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be of a color. Hey, yeah, uh, see, this is how fast it already is. Like freaking one of the other guys hopped on here. He's like, "Hey, if Weeby doesn't want that deal, I'll take it now." I already got it. Shut up. <laughs> <coughs> I already got it. Shut up. He said, "I already claimed it. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine, fool." Oh yeah. He also says that he also has a lot of sixty-four gigabyte SD cards too. So, uh, I don't know. Are you throwing one in for him with that uh, that GoPro, or is he going to have to buy those separately? It's not that bad. Dude, I've tried to sell it to you. Ha, ha, ha. No, I was like, I don't care about the, the SD cards. That don't bother me none. Or are you talking to the Recovery Bassin about the, uh, the, the GoPro? 
But yeah, we so I don't know if it's coming. Yeah, he's waiting for him to comment if it comes with the SD cards or not. He said, I'll give you one, but I still have a lot to sell. So here that GoPro comes with another with a 64 gig SD card. Oh, thanks, dude. That's good. That's a good deal, dude. Those cards alone are 15 bucks or something like that. Yeah. Well, yeah, 15 bucks, yeah. Now, now, now Dane's all pissed off that you got it and he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to bring it to you, Dane, but I think old Weeby's going to whoop your ass because Dane is uh, the guy that's talking about it, and Dane has a fishing YouTube channel, and he's also going to be in the kayak series. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's got, he got himself an old Pelican Argo 100X or something like that, so it's the same style as yours. Yeah, I got that. Hey, if you got something like that, he has to stand up on the airfish like I did on Oh, that's true. Dane, you're going to have to stand up. Weeby can. Weeby can stand up on his. Is yours a 10-foot or an 8-foot, Weeb? I think it's an 8-foot. I'm not real sure. It might be 8, yeah. 8-foot, maybe a 10-foot. I don't know. Yeah, I pulled out a tape measure and measured it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, it's in, my, it's in my shed. I took it out of my out of my garage because I, I have... Dude, I have so much crap in my garage right now. Oh, yeah? For the s 10 I have two sets of tires, rims, a set of axles. I'm back, I swear. Oh, yeah, I didn't even know you left. I was in the middle of a shot, so I didn't. Uh, I was talking to, uh, what's his name, Ivan. Oh, really? CBG already messaged you? Yeah. Well, that's cool. <sighs> yeah, I don't recall telling me, but if I forgot my bad. Seriously, I'm not mad, y'all. Just think his. Uh, I didn't think you were mad either, you know. But I think it's funny that old, uh, you're a chicken. Alex Fisho, how's it going? Citrum, hey. But Dane, I'm gonna laugh my ass off if we be if we be whips your ass this we, this year in the tournament series. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I need to get a bigger one because I don't want to lose this. I want to put them on. I want to. I want. I want to try my dampers to get the most weight or whatever. How we're gonna do this? this yeah, you gotta use your catch board still. So I still got that. I just. I need. I want to see if I can win it. Win it. To Hello, win Johnson, it. bro. Twenty nineteen. I'm in it to win it. He says, "I hope everyone does good. I hope he does whoop my ass." Well, well, I might not be so good, but hey, it'd be fun. Hey, you caught fish last year. You caught two of them. Yeah, I did. I did catch the first one. I think <laughs> after you were after you were bitching at me the whole time. About not being able to keep my fish on the damn board, and you lost yours. <laughs> I should have never taken off the hook. It was a problem. <laughs> oh, dude, that was just too funny. Going out there, like, we, I mean, we can't catch We're just all sitting in the shade because it's hot and we're fat and tired, and then just sitting in the shade, just lobbing crankbaits out there. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we should do an eight hour deal. We but, should do it like noon or something. Do it for like a couple hours. Instead of a full freaking day, that's. I don't know. But I'm sure I'm sure it'd be a lot better if we actually caught fish for eight hours. Well, yeah, that sucked but, because you know I caught like I caught fish all day pretty much. I didn't. Yeah, no, I know you didn't. <laughs> like I didn't know what I had to do, how to do it, what tricks or what. I was like, oh my Jesus! But I caught them most. I caught. Both of them in the cove. That was the deal. Yeah. No, well, no, you caught one in the cove, and you caught one uh, underneath the trees with me, remember? Because right, it was me, you, and Lance. That was like over by the cove, though. That oh, okay, like gotcha. It. He said, oh, okay, gotcha. So I build yourself a steam up so I can crush it. Don't worry yeah. about don't worry about Dane, dude, because I'm just saying Dane can't catch fish. <laughs> I can't catch fish either. 
Can we go there some more? We need to like put some green in that. I like green through there. I'll probably just take the rest of this and throw it in the green. See how that comes out. Might look pretty cool. Oh, but this one's no, this one's no good. Has a bubble right there. But, anyways, waves. Do you think you can keep these people entertained so I can go take a poop? Oh, <laughs> I don't know about all that. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably just sign off though. In all honesty, and on both on both things. Yeah, I want to do some YouTubing, watching some YouTubes. Oh, yeah, like what? Oh, there's this guy. Uh, I don't know where he's at. I'm not really sure where he's at. He's up there. He's building a bike. Yeah. Uh, a drift trike with a snowmobile motor on it. That's like, funny. Fuck you, that. Yeah, dude, I'll, I'll, we need to get together and I need to come look at your 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 tracker. Why in the world did you paint white? Because I like white. Oh my god, I hate white. Why? I just hate white. Well, good thing it's not yours. Huh? Well, <laughs> dude, Weebs, look how much this... Oh, Caleb, fine, you show up now. I'm getting ready to get off. <laughs> Have you caught any fish with that setup yet? Uh, Here, Weaves, no. look how much look how much plastic I I shot in just this little what hour and forty two, and I've been BSing a lot. And some of I could have shot more, but I took time and did that grit that yellow. Look at all this. I don't see it. Well, give me a second. I'm getting it all. Holy shit, son. <laughs> yeah. That's all two cups. That's two cups of plastic right there. That's it. And Ooh, I still have dude. enough to shoot some more if I wanted to, but that's yeah. a lot of plastic, dude. That's like two bags worth. That's more than that. How much get, How much are those? Okay. How many is in a bag at the Walmart? So like 20? 20, 20? Uh, I think usually like eight. Oh. Six to eight. I thought it was more than that. I no. thought it was like 10. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's a half and half. Five. Let's see here. Here's six. Seven. I really need to start working out, dude. My fucking legs are killing me. <laughs> eight. Okay, wait. So here's a bag. This is eight plastics. You know, I saw these for five bucks. Right? So eight right there. That's a bag. Here, I'll go ahead and bag them up, too, since I'm not doing anything. I farted and relieved a little pressure, so we're good to go. You gotta take a poop there, bud. <laughs> you gotta take a poop there, though. Oh, I'm gonna have to open up a new bag, I think. So, anyways, here's a bag of eight. Here's my bag. For five bucks? Yeah. I sell them for eight dollar piece. Yeah, that's a lot. That, see, I, I'm not going to do all that now. That's a little too expensive for my taste. I'm trying to. I'm putting it in somewhere everybody else can afford. You know, well, waves. We have nobody watching us right now. <laughs> it's just I me and you FaceTiming. Well, you did. three. I don't, there's nobody you. What the fuck? <laughs> I have not yet. Well, what the hell? Where the is he buy a 10 pack of baits at i don't know i think i think uh they make the uh, think strike king or someone makes raised chunks in 20 packs or something like that or the like jig trailers but yep eight of these bad boys five bucks yeah, that's not bad yeah plus shipping if you're gonna buy them somewhere else so there you're looking at so the first sale i made right the first sale i ever did the guy paid me twenty bucks and shipping was seven. I was like, "Oh hell no!" <laughs> I was like, "That's that's damn near half my profit." <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna yeah. need, you know, so I'm gonna have to start charging some damn, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Some shipping. Yep, 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 yep. Anyways, so there we go. Okay, you guys have a good night. Peace.
Peace, dude. So there's one bag. Let's see here. I don't think I'll have enough for two, in all honesty. It's just the, just the straight colored Tinkos. Two, three, four, five, six. I think that's it for Cinco's. And I have seven, eight, but they have the, the chartreuse tail. So, anyway, I'll throw, I'll throw that in the bag too. Six bags, something like that. Oh, uh, listen, I, I mean, I just threw the chartreuse in with them. Heck yeah, I like that. I like the blue with the green tip on it. I like it cool. Yeah, it just takes a long time to do it. So, I need the ones with the chartreuse. Well, Dane, come by, boy. So I guess I'm getting a new garage door. A new garage door? New floor. Oh, new floor. New floor and new driveway. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. And I'm putting... I don't think you've ever been to my new house yet. I haven't. My, my washer, you have or you haven't? I have not. Oh, my washer and dryer is in my garage, and the water froze. So oh, boy. It is break. That's going to do laundry. See, there's 16, there's 16 bays right there. So one, yep. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's another eight. There you go. This is 24 baits. <laughs> How's the inventory coming along, dude? My inventory is looking fat. I'm not going to lie. You better start selling some, then. I do. I need to I need to actually, like, sometimes I just come out here, you know, without going live and just make, you know, because, again, I don't want to I don't want to go live and just make black and blues or green pumpkins or something like that, you know, because that's all basic shit. All right. Make a red. That'd be kind of cool to make, like, a wicked color. A what? A bluegill? No, or some kind of wicked color. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Just mix some colors together and see if they'll look yeah. good. I feel you. I feel you. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Damn, I have, yep. seven, I have seven of these, and I have three of the freaking chartreuses. <laughs> and then I'll just take it. You what? I would just mix them together. Yeah, that's what I'll do. There's 10 in that one. Or, yeah, 10, I think, yeah. Well, six dollars. Six bucks. Six bucks. Six bucks. Six bucks. Go what? Come on, anybody, buddy. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Come on. Someone take it. Six bucks. Come on. Let's go. Vamanos. Vamanos. <laughs> Wait, you could be one of the you could be one of those sale barn guys, auctioneers. Like, okay. Ah, but a hoobity 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 hoobity. There we go. I only made four of these. I need to make more. The I always forget, like, I can always tell how many runs I had. I made five runs, but I messed up one of the beavers, so. Yeah. <laughs> yep, so it is what yeah. it is, but I think I'm about done on here, so. Yeah, I'm probably going to talk to my, my buddy Vaughn tomorrow and say, we're going to do this or not. <laughs> Let's do this. So, there we go. I made I made 30 baits today. Yep, so. So, anyways, you guys will see more when, or they'll, you know, they'll see more when I uh, get going. And, you know, I have my whole yak full of my own baits. So, yeah, man. All right. All right. Peace, man. Peace. Peace, y'all. <laughs> Peace yeah. love, and harmony. Later, haters. Yeah.